guys, welcome to Filipina Ajuma channel. So today I'm going to make four Korean dishes. First is kosari, which is fern break in English, and uh, dried squid, which you call ojingo um, bokkum in Korea, and the fish cake, which is udang, and um, dried anchovy, which is milchi bokkum in Korea. So these are all stir fried dishes. So let's go and start. And we're cooking this for. Um, side dishes, there are only four um, key ingredients. So first is yung garlic and uh, chili and soy sauce and this one you call this um, I don't know, this one is like honey in Korea. You call it mui, I think. So this is for um, to make your food a bit sweeter. So this one, I know, um, good sha for fish cake. Then sa uh, uh, anchovy, which is a uh, gagawin nating milk chip. So isa na tayo. Rice cake first. Okay. So, ma init na yung pan. So, una, okay, paano ba? First is, nagay mo muna yung ute. Okay. 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 Okay, so you should put it in medium heat lang siya para hindi siya magiging masuling na. Okay, let's wait na mag-brown yung right on uh, fish cake. Mago natin ilagay yung um, garlic. Okay, so medyo brownish na siya. So, lalagyan natin ng sesame oil. So, itong sesame oil para mag mas masarap siya. Tsaka yung amoy mas mas ating tayo sa tsara. Tsaka Then after nyan, lagyan na natin ng garlic and ng chili. So, ilalagay ko na yung garlic and chili. So, time for us to put the soy sauce. Wow, it's done, done, done. It's done, 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 done. It's a little brownish. It's done. It's like Joe Watch. It's done. It's done. So, let's turn off. Let's turn off the heat. It's done. I'm gonna show you a bit later. So I'm done with the rice cake side dish, which is udang. So just need to sprinkle some sesame seed. Oops, and it's done. Tapos na tayo dun sa udang, which is the fish cake. 
So since kailangan natin mag-multitasking, kailangan mag-multitasking ni Ajuma, ito, kailangan mo na siyang i-boil. So itong gosari, uh, dried uh, fern break siya. So I suggest na ibabad nyo siya overnight. Kasi um, palit lang siya, then lalagay siya ng ito. Okay? So i- um, Boil mo siya for like 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so while boiling, ang gagawin ko na tong um, uji no chemuchi. Okay? So, um, sa pagluluto naman nito, kailangan mo siyang i-fry muna para matanggal siguro yung mga, ewan ko, mas prefer ko na i-fry muna siya. And then, while frying, uh, i-chop mo na yung garlic. I-fry nyo muna siya in low heat. It's in very low heat. And then after that, um, once na na-chop nyo na to, yung garlic, i-transfer nyo sa isang bowl. Then, kasi gagawa tayo ng seasoning sauce niya. So, garlic, then kuchujang, which is the hot pepper paste in Korea. Sesame oil main ingredients sa paggawa ng mga side dish. And siguro konting soy sauce. Soy sauce, then you can also put sesame seeds. So let's start, okay? Okay, so for the seasoning sauce dun sa um, dried squid, so meron siyang garlic, sesame oil, soy sauce, um, the red pepper paste, sesame seed, tsaka syempre yung pampatamis niya which is mungyo. Okay? Tumihan natin ang konti. Okay. So mix mo lang siya. So, ito na yung kalalabasan niya, yung meat seasoning sauce. So, I think okay na din yung nyache mochi. Okay na siya. <gasps> Muntik mo yung sunog. Te! Patalog ka. Okay, so patayin mo na natin. So, turn up the heat kasi parang nasobrahan ko yata siya. Hindi para. Nasobrahan mo talaga. Kaloka ka. Okay. Then, after nyan, ilagay mo lang yung seasoning sauce. So, tansyahin mo lang siya. Wow! And I'm done. <laughs> with this um, ojingo che mochi. Muntik na siyang masunog, no? Pero okay lang. Gary Bells! Tada! So, since multitasking tayo detay, check natin ang gosari or ang fern break natin. So, pang okay naman na siya. I-check natin kung malambot na yung ano, gosari. Mmm! but na siya. Okay, so let's just wait for at least um, three more minutes then let it cool down. Cool down? Let it cool. <laughs> cool down. Exercise. Ka. Let it cool kasi kailangan natin siyang hatihan yung two bite size. Okay. So, now, ang gagawin natin is this. Real cheese. Okay. So this one is a uh, dried anchovy, uh, stir fried dried anchovy side dish sa Korea. So ito pinaka madaling um, gawin as long as you have this one. Alam ko meron din ito sa Pinas pero not sure kung same taste sila. Anyway, pwede naman kayong bumili sa mga Korean supermarket if gusto nyo ring i-try. 
Okay, so let's start doing this. So now, para siyang yung sa squid. Lagyan mo ulit sa pan. Oops, kalimutan mo. So. Uy. Okay, so you need to heat the pan again. So, medium heat ulit siya. Then, after uh, noon, ilagay mo ito um, anchovy or dried anchovy. Then, i- Still fry mode. Dinit na siya. So, lalagay ko na yung anchovy later. Then, this one, nakulo na din siya. Kulo. Napakulo ko na din siya. So, para mas madali siyang uh, lumamig, transfer mo siya sa container. Okay. So, na-transfer ko na siya sa container. So, palamigin lang natin siya ng konti. Then, kailangan mo siyang i-chop into bite size. Okay. Then, after nun, while waiting detay sa anchovy na to medyo mag brownish parang dun sa udeng or dun sa fish cake tsaka natin inalagay yung garlic and yung um, chili so while waiting um, chichop ulit ako ng bawang as always para dun sa gosa okay, so I think medyo brownish na siya tsaka naamoy ko ang bang niya so, para hindi siya maging katulad dun sa squid na nasunog ng konti, lagyan na natin yung garlic and then yung chili. Push lang. Sorry, ang gulo naman ay. Okay, so just stir, stir and stir and stir. Hangga mag brown yung um, bawang. So, stir mo lang mga besh. Okay, so I think okay na siya. Pinatay ko na yung uh, apoy kasi baka mas mulo ko ulit. Kawawa naman si Joe. Yes. Okay, so since medyo brownish na siya, lagyan natin ng soy sauce. So, yung soy sauce, dandahan lang kasi baka maalas. Let's see, mamigunod pa siya. And then, stir, stir again. Okay, hanggang mag-even yung color niya. Taray, kala mo perfection na rin si Ate. Okay, after niyan, lagyan natin ng sesame oil medyo konti na para mas okay yung lasa niya and then yung amoy din and then after sesame oil so ito um, depende na lang sa inyo kung gusto niyong dagdagan hindi ko alam po ano to pine nuts niya dito sa english uh, siguro mabibili nyo din to sa mga Korean supermarkets. So, ito, for a healthier side dish, hindi mo siya i-dagdag. As much as you want. Okay. I think that's enough. Okay, then, um, turn on the heat again. Uh, just low heat. So, okay na siya. Kasi mas bet ko yung medyo makalis-kalis siya na anchovy. And then, pwede nyo rin lagyan na sesame seed. Yeah. Pero optional lang yan. Kung hindi nyo bet, pwede rin huwag nyo lagyan. So, ang 
ating Miyoji Bokkum is complete. Later, I'm gonna show you kung paano ko siya, kung paano ko pinapack yung mga side dishes ko para mag siya for at least 2 to 3 weeks. And the last side dish, finally! The last side dish na gagawin natin is yung gosari. Side dish. Yung gosari bang chan. Ito mo. So, um, firstly, is yung bawang. So, i-chop mo ulit siya into small pieces. And then, after nun, as what I've mentioned a while ago, kailangan mo tong i-chop into bite-sized pieces para hindi siya uh, sobrang haba pag kinain mo kasi nagkakas. Or meron din sobrang. So, yeah. Mas okay siya kung i- so, para malaman mo kung okay na yung gosari mo is pag prinesse mo siya ng ganyan and nagkaganyan na siya. <laughs> Nag Nadurog na siya ng ganito. That means well cooked na siya. Okay, so let's start. done cutting uh, this gosari and also tapos na chop yung garlic. So, actually, uh, there are two things na pwede mong gawin. Uh, so, yung two way pala para maluto tong gosari or para magawa mo siya is either um, ganito na lang siya, then i-mix mo yung garlic and other seasoning or like what will I do today? <sighs> Yan mo siya sa pan. So, kailangan ko muna linis, nilisin yung pan, no? Kasi, nagamit ko na siya doon sa pagluto ko sa uh, other side dishes. Uh, okay. okay, so, nalinis ko na yung pan. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is, is stir fry ulit yung gosari. Which is, this one. Just put it here. The reason why I prefer ko na i-stir fry siya is uh, para manuot yung um, yung garlic dun sa, dito sa gosari. Kaya much better siguro na stir fry na lang siya. Okay, so i kailangan ko muna siyang tutuin. Okay, wait lang. So, while uh, stir ko tong uh, gosari, Kailangan ko na ilagay yung garlic. Just the skin of it. So, we medium heat pa lang yung, uh, yung apoy nito para mas madali siya maluto. Kailangan mag-even yung or mamix mo siya na maayos para yung lasa hindi masarap yung iba. Yung iba yung nilang lasa. Okay, so after nito, kailangan ko na lagyan ng soy sauce. So yung soy sauce, banda lang, baka maalat. Okay na siya. Um, tingin ko, time for it to put the sesame oil. Yung sesame oil para maglasa siya ulit. Always less yung sesame oil kasi dun nagstay yung um, lasa ng sesame sesame seed. So I think I need to turn it off. And we're done. Yes. Na <laughs> kapagut kabes. Okay. And we're 
Done! Finally, natapos din siya. So, ganun lang po pag-prepare ng uh, mga Korean side dishes. So, hopefully, nag-enjoy po kayo. And, simple lang po yung mga ingredients ko. If you want na mag- uh, add or improve pa yung ingredients, uh, then okay lang naman. So, thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe. Thanks! Bye-bye!